Welcome to Boat Auto Studio. I am back after about six months. Uh, my computer crashed in the beginning, beginning of May, so um, I haven't been able to record anything. And also, all my hardware, such as my cameras and my, my microphones, have been jacking up on me. So, yeah, I haven't been able to record anything. And that plus some procrastination. And uh, yeah, it's been taking six months. But anyway, today I would like to show you a very, very co a common um, a jo a job that uh, designers in school ga got to do, which is doing a product for a company or someone who will never have this, this product in their product line. For instance, ma making a car for Apple or making computer mice for, I don't know, Ford. Uh, so, uh, so today I, I was got a little bit inspired by, by the fact that the a new new Star Wars film premiered. Uh, yay! I'm a bit. I'm a little bit of a Star Wars, Star Wars fan. Uh, so so I, I thought about doing lightsabers for uh, for various people who would never use one. So for instance, today I'm making a light lightsaber for uh, Donald Trump, uh, Legolas, and me. Why these character characters? Well, I don't. I don't. I don't know really. I just pick pick people at random and. Uh, well, I pick myself because I just want to know what kind of lightsaber would I li like to have. Uh, so what you see, have seen me here and right now is uh, do, do a little mood board. Uh, do a little mood board about, about the, the characters or the people in, ge in general that I'm do, doing for and then doing some thumbnails. I started up in, in Sketchbook Pro because I thought uh, I would do, do the whole thing in that program, but I realized uh, sooner that uh, Photoshop is a lot, lot better at re rendering this. Uh, so, yeah, Donald Trump. You may not think of him as, of him as a character, but <laughs> come on, he's a character. He's completely a disaster when it comes to politics. Yeah, but anyway, uh, when, it co uh, when it comes to Do Donald Trump's design, uh, he's quite vulgar, rich, and yeah, o over the top, really. So for him, I thought about doing something with a lot of chrome, some leather, some diamonds and gold. You know, everything that is expensive and just distasteful if it's not if it's not combined right. So that's the the lightsaber I was going I am going to do for Donald Trump. Uh, as you see, see we do I do now is uh, do, doing the hilt. Uh, it's going to be a leather hilt with, uh, yeah, some kind of red le leather. It's uh, going to be uh, quite po posh, quite quite luxurious. Uh, not re really practical because this will stink, stink after a while if it gets wet. And well, yeah, I'm working on all the chromium bits or gold bits. Um, uh, in the meantime, here, here, here you see me working working on some gold gold bits. Uh, chromium or gold, it's it's pretty much much the same thing. It's just a co uh, co color change for uh, for uh, for the two. And if you want to do this, do study some some chromium or or gold before you embark on something like this because it's uh, quite quite tough. Uh, go, uh, the chromium and gold doesn't necessarily reflect light the way usually matte materials do. Do it's not smooth gradients. It's quite quite harsh edges because it's really reflecting the light source itself more more than anything. Uh, but yeah, anyway, here here I'm just uh, do, do some decals, do, uh, writing Trump's name on it. Um, I didn't uh, I didn't search uh, well enough to fi find some kind of lo logo for Donald Trump. All I know about about him is the fact that he's he's a little bit too, too much in love with himself. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's the kind of lightsaber that I'm doing for him. And yeah, now we are jumping over to Legolas. Um, in this design, though, I wasn't really too, uh, too happy with it when it when it came when it came to because I did 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 a really wrong thing. I took someone else's design, meaning the Peter ja Jackson design crew desi design that is in the um, uh, Lord of the Rings movies, and basically just made it into a lightsaber. Saber. I it should. This is something you really never should do as a designer. You should really come up with something on your own, or, or at least try, try to do something something different for for, and 
at, at least to try to do something different compared to what already exists. In this case, I didn't do that and I didn't realize it uh, until afterwards. But anyway, uh, here I'm trying to get some smooth lines and, get, and giving my uh, design some g good shape. And yeah, I'm trying to get yeah real ni nice um, uh, brass design on it. This uh, w won't be won't be gold. It will be brass uh, instead. It will be more greenish tone because uh, Legolas. I don't I don't think he's that that vain to be honest. He's just yeah you know elvish. So yeah, we are mixing materials here with wood, with with brass, and with other metals. So what you see see we do here is more. Uh, more brass bits, more reflective bits that is reflecting everything around it. Uh, now, when I think about it, I should have uh, incorporated some kind of uh, for forest leaf, leaf design or something in the reflections because, uh, let's, let's face it, it's probably in the woods or, so or something. Uh, so that, that would be would have been not nice if I hadn't incorporated that. I'm gonna think about that till next time. But yeah, anyway, now I'm trying to. And make a good sm smear brush. What I, the usual method that I use for uh, blending materials is, uh, or blending colors, I should say, is uh, uh, do the opposite colors, then do, then take a smear brush and smear smear them to uh, smear them together. Uh, that usually ends up with a qu quite good result. Here we are starting off on my, my design, and this uh, this one I took a little bit. More care, and uh, I, I basically got got into the paint, painting process at uh, at this point. So uh, this this one uh, will become the be best design design of, of, of these these three, I think. Uh, what you see see me do here is just uh, make make a multifunctional uh, lightsaber with one with a gun plus lightsaber in one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I li like the kind of wish Swiss uh, uh, army of sa saber to be, to be honest. You know, being being able to do do everything with one weapon, you know, because sometimes you you have to use that light table, sometimes you have to shoot someone. So yeah, uh, I'm go going more for function here than anything else. No, no more, uh, not not too much uh, decorative bits and so. Uh, so what I am going to write my initial initials on, uh, on this thing later on. But uh, this is mostly just uh, something functional that you could. Seriously, just find some store somewhere, uh, some light lightsaber store. If you uh, catch catch my drift, you know, it's just a rubber hilt. Uh, uh, going for a, a stainless steel br brushed uh, uh, metal ma matte metal fi finish on on it, and yeah, it's just uh, more function than anything else. So, uh, what you see seem to do here is just uh, uh, selecting areas. Uh, giving it some good, good edges and just um, blend, blending in materials. Uh, also, I'm starting off uh, this uh, process here in the black and white in order to col colorize it afterwards. Uh, this is a good tip for all, uh, all of you uh, designers or pa digital painters out, out there who is in inspiring to be, become professional a digital artist. And that's just uh, to start off in the black and white like this and then uh, use uh, uh, color and uh, on a separate la layer and make that uh, layer a color layer in the um, uh, in the mo modify panel. You know the panel where, where you se select uh, overlay, mul multiply, and whatnot, and what layer layers should be. So yeah, I am quite finished with uh, the initial designs here, and I am separating all of them onto a se new layer, and I'm go going to do the details now. So here we're starting off the with the Donald Trump. Uh, saber again, and I am fin finishing off the diamonds. Uh, I think I deleted the the, di the diamonds here because I wasn't re really uh, happy with them. Yeah, you can see there. I started off do doing the silhouette a little bit better, and uh, yeah, just to do uh, selecting uh, par parts of the design that I didn't want to work on, and then just work on it so I won't be bleeding over to uh, other parts of the painting. Uh, so do do use that selection tool a lot, a lot of people. It's a quite, uh, quite quite a handy one. Uh, what more can I say about this design? Yeah, I'm just doing the uh, ignite button. Uh, actually, this uh, is the uh, one or two that I'm actually using the button for. In the final design of my own design, I usually will switch that 
um, and, and decided if um, uh, do you if, uh, do you like to would be either lightsaber mode or gun mode or both. Uh, this uh, part here, I really needed to read it. Doesn't it redesign because right now it looked like a ma male genital. Uh, so I just made it a flat, flat bottom instead and just get, gave it some uh, fancy chrome bit and then deleted that. And well, now now I needed to work on the uh, leather handle again because uh, quite frankly I wasn't happy with it. Uh, so now I am just making some smooth lines and just uh, and just ma making uh, yeah the leather part come alive. I'm using uh, brushes from uh, Scott Robertson here. And uh, you know, and Scott, if you hear me, please start making videos again. It's a uh, it's uh, so interesting to watch your videos every time. I quite frankly, I've rewatched uh, rewatched a lot all of them because they are a lot. They do provide a lot of inspiration. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's just uh, tweaking the design, making sure uh, everything falls together nicely, and yeah, and just making sure that the de details come alive. Uh, it's a uh, better to sp spend a lot of time do doing good de details because uh, people will appreciate that. Uh, if you do a design, if it's readable, it's then it's yeah, it can be good and excusable. But but if you can ma do a lot of details and make make it really re look really good, uh, people will really really appreciate you as as a artist and designer. Uh, just make make something look look really sketchy just just for sake of ske sketchiness uh, can be good so sometimes in order to show that uh, you're not really done done with the process yet and uh, the client this is not not a fi final product for the client but uh, in order to make yeah, Make good good details is good good for for portfolio because if you show details you you show a lot of te technical skill as well. Uh, yeah, I'm just rambling on here. Um, yeah, we're just uh, making the no nozzle here and just uh, making sure it's bl bl blending well and just do good lines. Uh, by the way, I uh, downloaded a uh, plugin for Photoshop and uh, Illustrator called Lazy. Nesumi, which is a uh, plugin that makes uh, your brush strokes very smooth. Uh, Lazy brush is the same pl uh, plugin or same feature in uh, Sketchbook Pro, but uh, um, this this la lace, uh, lacy what was it called? Lazy Nesumi, <laughs> weird name. Uh, this is a, a standalone pro program for uh, for pho Photoshop. Uh, I only use the light version here because, quite frankly, I didn't uh, think about spending my money on this just yet. But it's quite a good plugin, so I'm going to, going to spend money on on the full ver version later on. But yeah, now you see me do do some uh, uh, stocks for the uh, stocks of twigs with, with leaves on it for the Legolas uh, lightsaber. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm coming up with a cold here. And yeah, it's just uh, with that uh, uh, lazy brush fe feature here. It's just uh, re really uh, simple to to make g good smooth lines. And uh, yeah, this is really this is my this is, uh, to be honest, I think this is my only uh, fe feature that I made made my own for for this uh, design here because it's uh, lo looking a, li a little bit too much like the Peter Jack Jackson version. Unfortunately, I said that before. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you should you should never re really do that unless, unless you are ordered to do, to do so, uh, which which is to co copy some other design straight off. Uh, should, you should try to try to come up with something on your own. And of course, when it comes to uh, fictional characters like like Legolas and whatnot, this um, uh, Peter Jackson, the Peter Jackson version is just one version. He, uh, you you could do do something completely uh, out of the ordinary on on your own, you know. Uh, Harry Potter is not not just the one Harry Potter, Potter ver version with the Harry Potter vi uh, movies. You can you can make your own Harry Potter interp interpretation of, of the book. You can make your own interpretation of, of the characters. You know, it's not not a, the one um, fi final solution to to it. You know, there's there's remakes of every mo movie and uh, updates of every movie these, these days. So. Uh, yeah, you can you, you can really go nuts with the design, which is something I didn't do here, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, here I am uh, trying to come up with some some kind of ho holes or 
um, coolant design for for the no nozzle here uh, on on the gun. Uh, and uh, what I ended up do doing later on was uh, uh, do do some straight lines like this and make an object out of it and just uh, uh, shape it uh, on the hilt. Select that and just ma make the holes. And this was a quite a simple process. It took a little time uh, to do, but um, uh, the final result w will be extremely good. Uh, which is, uh, or extremely good, uh, I shouldn't say, it's a lot better than if I le le left it out. It, it just it gives a little de detail that makes the ho whole design pop, you know. So, um, uh, yeah, let's see, uh, what am I doing next? Yeah, just ma making the uh, cock or what's it called? The hammer uh, for the gun, and then I put, put my initials on it because apparently I'm a little bit vain as well. And it's using the uh, effects in the in the Photoshop to uh, to ma make the design stand out a little bit, little bit. And I gave it uh, some design initials. The B O S L twelve is what is what my <laughs> lightsaber is, is called because yeah, it's a, a board studio episode twelve lightsaber yeah, lightsaber edition. Yay! So now we are finalizing the the lightsabers and I'm starting off by making some kind of background and now we're going to jump over to making colors very soon uh, first of all I'm, I'm do, doing sh shadows just to lift the uh, sabers off the paper a little bit and give it, give it a little bit more free to design but here you can see me uh, doing painting I'm painting the color on a separate layer uh, as you can see here and just making the the layer a color layer I just go, go down to the bottom Modify a stack and just uh, check color or fairy as it's uh, called, uh, called here in Sweden. Uh, but yeah, he will make some goldish and and kind of uh, co co coloration for the for the Trump a barrel, uh, which is uh, gold is usually some kind of uh, re reddish or orange one well, color I usually fine, but uh, whilst brass is more of a yellow green. Uh, that is uh, uh, setting it apart a little bit. They, are, uh, they can be quite quite indistinguish indistinguishable from each other for, uh, when you just look at them side uh, side by side. But it, they usually look quite a lot like each other. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I am uh, uh, pasting in some uh, photo texture textures, photo textures, photo textures, textures. Six. Okay, can't speak to her. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what I'm doing, doing right now. I'm just <laughs> rambling on. Um, but color textures, um, and I and this is textures I'm taking on my own on uh, various travels, um, uh, far and wide. Uh, these textures I t took it in the Bjer Björkvik. Uh, I was there with my uh, father uh, a couple of years ago, and I just just uh, t took my camera and was clicking around like nuts and he was just looking at me going, uh, what are you doing? And, uh, and now, now I'm gonna have to show this video too and I just sh show, this is what I'm doing, taking textures, building up my portfolio. Uh, so yeah, I, I made some brush, uh, brushed steel as, as you can see, see for for uh, my, my design here. And I was just making a, a specular uh, image and just put some mo motion, motion blur to 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 the specs, and it just get, get quite quite good, and good result. Uh, and and also a co contrast uh, up the uh, various part, parts here. And now we are done, and here we are. We are the complete uh, lightsabers in the full glory. And yeah, I'm quite uh, happy with the design so uh, uh, overall. Uh, and yeah, this is this has been a fun, a fun one. Uh, if you li like to uh, do, do something for your portfolio, and, or just to do something fu fun, and you don't have anything else to do, then do something like this: pick uh, uh, characters or su or companies or whatnot, and just do si some product for them. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and cl uh, click click uh, the like button if you like this video, and share it if you if you can. And, uh, and also, go visit my, my portfolio at boardofthestudio.com and I will see you next time. Bye!